to bring the news from the epicenter, where it happens and when it happens. Staying on top of every breaking story, minute by minute, right at the hour when the city gets busy and just before it sniffs. We are live from every angle, with objective insight and analysis. TVC News, first breaking news. Every major news story is with many perspectives and layered with different levels of impact. Hello. What time did this happen? Deliver right there. At TV's News, we follow the big and major news, gathering the facts, witnessing the outcome. I am here now. Your TV station of the year. Not just for breaking news, but for being first, fair, and accurate. TVC News. First with breaking news. Hello and welcome to Marketing Edge in TV, Nigeria's leading initiative in the business of brand management. It's a 30-minute show that features brand news, branding focus, industry interviews, conversations, all in the mix to promote the brand idea home and abroad. Welcome. The Experiential Marketers Association of Nigeria, Xman, recently at its 2020 annual general meeting AGM says the hard financial cost of the pitch process was once again brought to the fore after reaching a consensus. The group stated that organizations inviting experiential marketing agencies for pitch should prepare to pay the sum of 500,000 naira as rejection fee to the agencies not picked. Exxon's president, Tade Adekunle, who made the resolution known at the AGM, said the rejection fee will be paid to its members after attending a pitch, considering the level of research, creativity, and funding that goes into the ideas presented to clients. He also said agencies often allege that clients use their ideas after rejection on many occasions without proper compensation or acknowledgement. To support the president's position, some expert members are present at the meeting allege that some organizations usually end up appropriating concepts presented at the pitch without giving credit to the owners or paying for it. The multinational consumer goods company Unilever says it is weighing the sale of its global black tea business by the end of the year. According to the company's 2020 half-year report, the decision follows continuous slowdown in black tea sales due to changing consumer tastes, experiencing a decline in sales in its black tea brand across West Africa and other markets. The consumer packaged foods firm also disclosed that the decision to sell the bulk of its global iconic tea brands like Lipton and PG Tips followed the completion of a strategic review launched this January. In a report published by a British magazine, almost 900 million few fewer cups of tea were drunk over the 12 months through May 2018 in the UK. Nigeria's leading marketing and brand-focused magazine, Marketing Edge, in line with its tradition of promoting brand ideas, says it is set to showcase what it tagged the top 20 players driving financial inclusion in the age of a new normal in its next edition. The special edition is the magazine's offering to stimulate and showcase the giant strides and contributions of financial institutions and brands offering and promoting financial technology, fintech, and financial services in the new normal. Speaking on the proposed publication, Mr. John Ajayi, the company's publisher, editor-in-chief, has said uh, the magazine remains a trailblazer on contemporary issues concerning brands and market, market makers, as well as setting an agenda on critical industry issues. It's also said uh, the leading brand on marketing publication believes that the contributions of these outstanding players have gone a long way in driving the federal government's policy on financial inclusion in the country. The new normal location by the COVID-19 pandemic has opened a new vista in areas of financial transactions and operations which make brands financially trans financial transactions and services easy during and after the lockdown. Heineken Lagerbe recently announced a sweeping change in its alcoholic marketing uh, by entering into the largest ever single sponsorship deal involving a non-alcoholic beer brand, replacing Amstel as UEFA European League sponsor. Heineken, which has been a UEFA partner in one way or 
another since 1994 has now put down 10 million euros to a year to associate its non-alcoholic Heineken Zero Zero alternative with European football. Commenting on the impact of COVID-19 pandemic on the sponsorship, Heineken's global sponsorship director, Hans Eric Tutsi, has said the company observed a surge of health and well-being trends accelerated by consumer reaction to coronavirus, adding that it had helped drive a 40% sales growth in the 0.0, .0 brand. Year on year, particularly in Russia and Europe, Twitch uh, also said Heineken 0.0% is now available in 58 markets globally, with more than half of those in Europe and the UFO competition offers a supposed cumulative viewership of 550 million people across all live programs and an average of 37 million viewers each match day. In a bid to increase access to its mobile money service and driving fintech growth, Airtel Africa PLC has entered into a partnership with Standard Chartered PLC. The partnership, according to the company, will enable Airtel to expand the range of its fintech business arm, Airtel Money. The company also said the new products and services will be launched at its targeted 19 million customers with a view to encouraging the adoption of mobile money whilst engendering the financial inclusion goal of the Central Bank of Nigeria. Standard Chartered and Airtel Africa will work together to co-create new innovative products aimed at enhancing the accessibility of financial services and ultimately better serve people across Africa. MTN is extending its digital strategy with the launch of a new Pan-African application program interface API marketplace called Chinosis, the marketplace that will enable developers and businesses to discover and subscribe to what will become the largest library of open APIs published on the continent. API is a software intermediary that allows two applications to talk to each other. Chinosis will enable developers to tap into a broad spectrum of API products and service from across the continent, ranging from telecommunications, e-health, e-government, IoT, fintech, e-commerce, identity and authentication, payments and collections, locations, and more from a single marketplace. The Chinese's market allows businesses and developers to pull publish their APIs so the developers can discover and consume them. The marketplace also provides the tools for publishers to monetize and promote their APIs by creating subscription plans and product bundles that developers and businesses can purchase. Land Mobile has unveiled a consumer promotion campaign tagged Mega Millions Pro Bowl with promises to reward 90 lucky subscribers with 90 million naira in 90 days. The promotion will reward lucky customers with 1 million naira daily to smartphones every hour and a grand prize of 10 million naira for the duration of the campaign. The campaign was announced by Land Mobile's Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Alan Sinfield, in a verified LinkedIn handle. The program is open to existing new customers and inactive customers who reactivate their lines. The promo adopts a recharge and win mechanism. To participate in the promo, existing and inactive customers need to recharge their lines with 200 naira or more airtime to win any of the amazing prizes. The more a customer recharge, the higher his chances of winning. New customers will get up to 100% data bonus for 12 months in addition to free one gigabyte plus 500 naira airtime. An independent branded business valuation consultancy has released its 2020 alcoholic drinks report. The report, which assessed the impact of COVID-19 pandemic based on the effect of the outbreak on enterprise value compared to what it was in 1st January 2020, revealed one most valuable alcoholic drink brand stands to lose $33 billion worth of brand value as a result of the pandemic impact. The impact estimated for each sector will impact on beer brands most likely to be heavily leading to a potential loss of 20% brand value. The spirits, champagne, and wine brands category, according to the report, has the potential of losing 10% as, as the sector is likely to be moderately impacted by the pandemic. On the beer category, there's part a drop in brand value by 14% to $6.4 billion. Budweiser, the world's strongest beer brand, recorded a brand strength index, BSI score of 85.2 out of 100, with a corresponding AAA brand strength rating. 
J.J. Omega of Johnny Walker, Smiloff and Guinness has announced remarkable achievements as its highly ambitious 2020 and sustainability and responsibility goals come to a close. Among achievements being celebrated includes absolute reduction of greenhouse gas emissions across all its businesses, 46% improvement in water efficiency, zero waste to landfill at all production sites and offices, over 99.5% recyclable packaging, empowerment of 435,000 women through various community programs and moderation messages to 2 million people from major brands. In a statement, AJ described the goal originally set in 2008 and refreshed in 2015 as the most ambitious and stretching in the industry. JJ was among the first companies to set its greenhouse gas GHG reduction targets in line with the principles of science-based target initiative and an early adopter of absolute rather than relative GHG reduction targets. Foreign news agency reports have confirmed that COVID-19 pandemic have drastically affected the business fortunes of N2Z's network business performance and its organic revenue declining by 17.3% and operating profit plunges 39.2% in quarter two. Specifically, the latest news released by campaign said the Japan-based Japan agency network has continued to be battered by the impact of COVID-19 pandemic as its home and international business operations have continued to struggle for revenue growth and profitability. The news released published last week revealed that for April, June, uh, it ventures ages network announced that revenue less cost of sales declined by nearly 18 percent uh, to 18.1 billion dollars that's about 169.5 million dollars while operating profit declined by 32.2 percent year on year to 4 billion yen uh, it stated that the international operations of dentsu urges network weighed down the results the most with the revenue less and cost of sales by 21.3 percent year on year at about 10.7 billion yen 10.2 million dollars compared with a drop of 12.3 percent for its japan operations organic revenue for the quarter was down 17.3 percent across the group 20 percent for dentsu edges network and 12.6 percent for dentsu japan the acting registrar and chief executive of the advertising practitioners council of nigeria mrs yedi oliora uh, has urged brand owners not to give up on advertising and promotion of their businesses. She gave this advice because of the harsh economic situation, which daily confronts brand owners and businesses due to the COVID-19 pandemic that has resulted in total business lockdowns and general downturn in all economic activities. Calling on brand owners who have halted their advertising activities pending when normalcy will return. This is J.D. Iowa advice that brand owners and businesses should not stop promoting their businesses by putting advertising on hold. Mrs. Yora will make this call on the occasion of her parents as guests on Marketing Edge on TV said, and I quote, not minding the brands one has it, uh, one has, it can not be done without advertising. No matter the platform you are going to use, it's still advertising. For the brands, they should keep on advertising to sustain their businesses. If your brand have been in existence uh, before with COVID-19, the consumers will not know if you are still in existence or you have fallen out because of the COVID-19 pandemic. End of quote. Just put me on the window there so that I can see them and I can hear them. He's not around, so he has a sanction. Present! I carry data for head, I carry for back. Correct that, I will not be a Say, I know they know me, say, I know this yoga landlord. Talk to me face to face. Explore without limits. Turn it up on MTN, the reliable data network. Data! <laughs> Next 
this brand new focus. The last few months have witnessed seismic shifts threatening the foundation of the world as known to humankind as you know, on all fronts. The outbreak of coronavirus pandemic, codenamed COVID-19, has significantly changed brand marketing as we know it. The unprecedented disruption caused by the pandemic has necessitated global lockdown measures, which in turn impacted global advertising spend and made brands' purpose and value more important than ever.